Welcome to episode 17 of The Road to Glasgow. I'm Mossy, he's Robbo, and don't forget that's the XV double one episode, Robbo. Tell me, mate, I want to know, how many days is it till Glasgow? Well, Mossy, you can almost count them on two hands. Actually, it depends where you're from. Uh, you might be able to count them on two hands, but we're up to 11. Uh, only 11 days to go, and it is absolutely getting very exciting out there. All across social media, all around the world, everyone's talking Commonwealth Games. Forget the World Cup, forget the Tour de France, it's the Commonwealth Games. But there's plenty of things going on there, and especially in the athletics and the other events that are going to be uh, played over there. What's the latest in the news, Robbo? Well, Mossy, this year with the Diamond League, they've moved the London Diamond League. They've shot it up to Glasgow. They thought, we've got this flash new track, let's give it a crack. It's not madness, and Robbo, is it? A couple of weeks out from uh, the athletics program, I think it's a stroke of genius, so well done to the organisers on that. Uh, we've got a bunch of Aussies. It seems like half the Aussie athletics team are taking part this weekend. It goes over Friday and Saturday, uh, and you can cheer on Danny Samuels in the discus. Uh, she's going to feature very heavily when the Com Games come around. Alana Boyd in the pole vault. And we've got some steeplechasers, uh, the girls, Maddie Heiner, Jen Lacars, and Vic Mitchell. And look, have a look at what Vic Mitchell's done. Uh, we set a little challenge to her, and we'll just play a little bit of video. This was from the Melbourne... Uh, national champs and we we set Vic a little challenge. The last few races have been nailed so I'm really happy. <laughs> Big question though, you know you're a huge fan Vic of the uh, the hair dye, um, we've had pink before, we've had a number of colours but this is how I make Clyde, he is the mascot of the Commonwealth Games. Do you reckon you could reveal today that you are going to go with the purple hair? Uh, sure, why not? I'm wearing purple today with the purple nails, so let's do that. Oh, there you go, you heard it first here on the Tartan couch. All right, so Vic's gone away, Mossy. She's thought long and hard about it. She's committed to getting this purple hair like Clyde. Well, I can tell you this week, here's what she's gone and done. So we're looking forward to seeing Vic come out at the Glasgow Grand Prix on the new track at Hamden in the purple rinse, uh, paying homage to Clyde. Now I know Robbo, you're a man of the hair, you're a man of the headband, but are you going to uh, do do the same? Maybe even just one day go the, the purple rinse. Mossy, if uh, Vic's got any of that purple rinse left, I wouldn't rule it out. Uh, no, I've all I've looked at Clyde and I've, I've often thought the purple wouldn't go too badly, but uh, can't wait to see how Vic and everyone goes at the Glasgow Grand Prix. Mossy, I think it's great that we're not just trying out the track. Uh, athletics, as we know. It's all about run, jump and chuck. So we're trying out the chucking events, we're trying out the jumping events and the running as well. Got to get a good feel of how that track is. They tell me it's fast. Can't wait to see how the athletes perform. Absolutely. And talk about performance. I want to talk about the performance of Glasgow as a nation. It's not just a city, it's a, a nation in itself. We know there's 11 sleeps to go until we get to Glasgow, Robbo. So what I thought is why don't we come up with 11 facts about the nation that is Glasgow. So let us go, mate. Let's just fire away 11 oh. things that, that, that I don't know that people out there don't know that Clyde doesn't even know. Right, uh, number one, it's the third time Scotland has hosted the Commonwealth Games. They held uh, edition number nine, 1V, and they held edition number 13, X111, and they were both in Edinburgh. This time it goes over to Glasgow. So that's fact number one. Now, Mossy, the second thing, the logo. Now you can have a look here, and Clyde's actually got it on his front of his shirt here. Now the logo, it's broken up. We've got a red circle, as you can see here. Now that's depicting there's 20 parts of that red circle. Now the 20 is recognising the 20th Commonwealth Games. Come within that, the yellow circle. So, so that effectively is the double X. That's right. It's a circle. That's the double X. That's right. The so double X rated that's Commonwealth the 20. Games. 17 parts of that red circle is the yellow uh, line here, and that represents the 17 sports that are being contested at the Com Games. It should only be 16. What the don't you like? The, the judo. Like judo. I've talked about Mossy. the judo. Yeah. Mossy. No offence to any of the judo followers. Now the blue line, Mossy, that comes down here. That's 11 parts of 20, and that's 11 days of the games. And then you've got the G, that's G for Glasgow. It's obviously green uh, in honour of Clyde as well. So that's two facts. So is that two facts? <laughs> We've got a long way to go. OK, we do. I can tell you a quick one here, Mossy. The Aussie, the composer of the metal ceremony music is an Aussie, Andrew Bowman. How good's that? Bowie. Now Glasgow, they, they nudged out Abuja, the Nigerian capital, to win the bid to host the 20th Commonwealth Games. 47 votes to 24. That was one of the most controversial <laughs> moments in the history of the whole Empire Games, Robbo. Yeah, no, they've never let that down, so uh, be, be careful who you're speaking to if they're from Nigeria, these games. Uh, there's 71 countries or 71 teams taking part. Uh, 261 medal events as well, Mossy. So if we don't get 261 gold medals as Australians, I'll, I, uh, I want my money back. 
Now, Mossy, one of the sponsors of the 20th Commonwealth Games in Glasgow is this here, Iron Brew, uh, which is the delicious orange ginger drink. Uh, and that is mostly sold, it's the most sold uh, beverage in all of Scotland. And I believe second is naked water, as we've got I was, here. I was just about to say, if you ever have an Iron Brew, make sure you wash it down with naked water. Matches uh, the naked headband. Now, Mossy, I'm holding the mascot here. The mascot was designed by schoolgirl Beth Gilmore. That was a little challenge that put out there to the kids of Scotland. This is what Beth came up with. It wasn't one of the schoolies we talked about I last week. I don't think so. No, okay, right. I Beth, don't think so. Beth, but it, good on you, Beth. That's it would brilliant. make sense. Now, the other one here, this tart, this is an official tartan. Are we up, what are you up to, number three? I think so, tart? yeah. The official tartan of the Com Games, designed by Amir Mahmood. I know Amir's a big fan of the show. We look forward to interviewing him when we get over there. But that's the official tartan, so you can get that in kilt form, uh, or you can even get a tea cozy. Now, Mossy, the diving. Diving's being hosted over at Don't Edinburgh. Don't tell me diving's in the sport, diving's in it. Oh, But this is go. the contentious thing. Edinburgh's already hosted two games. Do you think that was enough? No, they want to host the diving oh, as well. Yeah. So it's back in Edinburgh, the diving, if you want to go and see they that. They just won't let go of the diving, Edinburgh, will they? They will not. Just like Dundee. Dundee won't let go of the shooting. They hosted Shh. that in 1986. Don't mention the war, Robbo. No, so there you go. And finally, Mossy, the anthem. Now, Scotland has traditionally, when they've won a gold medal, they come out and they get Scotland the brave. Do, 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 do. Well, this year, it's completely changed, and this is controversial. Is It's going to be, and, and we were able to uh, launch an exclusive to you right now, that, uh, that Scotland has been uh, taken on as the third territory of Australia. So I'm assuming what you're going to be saying here is that they're going to be playing the Australian national anthem. Advance Australia, fair. Well, uh, that, Mossy, that's the... Uh, I believe that's still being decided. <laughs> but what, my, what I'm hearing in the meantime is that uh, oh flower of Scotland will be thrown in there and that's what the Scots will sing when they win a gold medal it's a song all about sticking it up the English so uh, I don't know how that's going to go down but as we know it's the independence debate and vote coming up very soon that'll happen just after the game we don't want to get right into all that Mossy but Scotland if you're looking for a country to unite with when you've separated from England Come and knock on our door. We'd love to uh, take it's you on board been, it's as been the third done. territory. You locked it in. Yeah, locked that in. All already right. been done. Now that's we're up to. Uh, oh, I thought we were up to point three. I think that's it. I think oh, that's my brilliant. eleven. So there you go. Ex that's eleven things that you may or may not have known about the games, and there you go. Now you can be an armchair expert. Now one thing that you may not be aware of about the games as well, but if you're watching the Gold Coast Airport Marathon, uh, Mossy and Robbo Gold Coast Gold last week, uh, and we'll provide a link that you can go and check it out. But one thing you may not be aware is we've actually been appointed myself as the deputy to Steve Monaghetti who is the uh, chief de mission or what I like to say the chief of the mission and you're actually the uh, advisor to the deputy uh, which is just amazing now we had a chance to catch up with Monas on air for our second meeting ever and we did it on air uh, and first thing we did was get a bit of clarity around the name of the title. Now Mona in your capacity as the, the chief de mission yes and uh, I'm not sure exactly what that entitles you to do, but you uh, have yeah, Robo, some Robo. privileges. I've got, listen, we oh, can't... Do I? What is it? Oh, let me is tell you. French. The, is the it? French are not part of the empire. The it's the chief of the mission. That, that is, that's right, mission. yeah. So the in chief, our, in chief. our Ballarat lingo, it's Glasgow and I'm chief of the mission. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? That's it, well, that'll work. Well, we're heading over to Glasgow, apparently. Yeah. As the assistant chief of the mission, is that correct? I'm not needs... sure if you can actually have two assistants. Oh, That's right. one thing we we'll have to have an arm rest. Might be able to have a fill in, like yeah. I could. You know, I could have oh, a bit yeah. of a snooze under the desk, and you guys can just sit in the chair, take over for me, give me a rest. Good. Well, Do you we, look like me. We're when all, you, with when like you need to be disguised, Mona. Yep. Here you go. Here we go. Ah, look at this. Mona. <laughs> I like it better this way, I reckon. Do you know I have a bit oh, of hair? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. Beauty. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's right. Got that's the ginger good. ale happening. You I don't mind that. like a Scotsman <laughs> there, yeah. for sure. It's a bit of, a, bit of a beret as <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that's good. Oh, look. <laughs> Ballarat would be very proud of you right now. Yes. Where's this going? This is only, this is just between us. To, yeah, us I don't think it's, 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 it's even recording. No, no thank no, God no, for no, that. No. We hope not. So there you go, Robbo. You're a bit of a missionary man yourself. Look, and, and what you, what we, what's proven there is you can take the boy out of Ballarat, but you can't take the Ballarat out of the boy. And uh, look, I'm looking forward to what the Chief can deliver at these games. He had a bit of a, uh, a bad games at Delhi, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, some security issues, some athletes vomiting. Um, let's not mention the swimming team, hey, what they got up to. Yeah, let's just stop that there. But uh, well, I think it's a smart move by let, the... Let alone the divers. Oh, well, they yeah, are right. mad. The Australian Com Games team has this time, this year decided that he needs a bit of help. So you and I have come in as deputy and advisor to the deputy. And uh, I think Monas is just going to be in for a great time over there. And uh, yeah, hopefully we don't have to do too much work. 
Well, hopefully you can stick around. Uh, catch us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Mossy and Robbo. Uh, don't forget to uh, give Clyde a high five if you ever see him. Today's International Day of the Hoodie, so Robbo's got the uh, Australian hoodie. I've, just, I've got the Australian hoodie as well. Um, so grab yourself a hoodie and remember, as always, run, jump and chuck. chuck.